I listened to like about a good five songs and six songs and I couldn't take it. I had enough. That little that little Dirk album almost healing is bona fide trash. Yeah, he dissed a lot of people. Like I said before, a little Dirk, you know what I mean? I gave him credit and said he's one of the top rappers, and he is. I mean he he can rap pretty good. He has a lot of sub he does a lot of Drake subliminal stuff. He talks about a lot of people. He's pill talk here. He's doing a lot of emotional Libra stuff, right? And 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 and, and that's the thing is that you never know what you're gonna get from a Libra. Oh, you know, when they're in a good mood, you get a good song. You know, like NBA Young Boy, when he's on some thugs, you get great thug song. But when he's on that emotional stuff, you get that rock and roll garbage. You get that Playboy Cardi garbage. You get all the you get all this stuff to make you fan away from him. Be a young boy when he's emotional. When he wants to be a rock star and he don't know where he's at in his life, painting his nails, but you don't know where he's going. We just know that this dude is a psychopath. We never know which pr 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 projection on which way he's going. We just know this: his album, his mixtape. His album before that was trash. His mixtape, then he got motivated, it was great. Now, Lil Durk was supposed to drop on that day to compete with the mixtape. He decides to push his album to the next week. Then he gets DJ Akam Dennings to hop on his team to promote this garbage album. This album is sad as fuck. This album, I already knew it was going to be sad. I already knew it was going to be sad because he's back with Indy. Every time he's back with Indy and, and they're in the good terms, he's not in bad terms. We need Lil Dirk when he's in bad terms. Bad terms with girls, bad terms with niggas, bad terms with everything. That's when you get the best of Lil Dirk. You don't get the best of Lil Dirk when he's over here fake being, being motherfucking, uh, uh. He out here trying to be Don King and stuff and trying to, you know what I mean, trying to save the peace and, and, and you talking to mayors and everything. Like, come on, man, stop it. You know what I mean? Elijah Muhammad now. You Elijah Muhammad now wearing mosque, you know, going to mosque and stuff. But, like, bro, like, what kind of Muslim are you? Because, like, you ain't speak nothing about no Muslim stuff on the album. The whole album just chit-chatting and pity-patting and throwing low blows at this person, throwing low blows at that person. I'm sad because this person died. I feel like, like, it was very emotional. It was a very emotional album. The beats were trash. The beats were trash. I can't get into that. Maybe they're Midwest beats. Maybe they're Midwest beats, so I say, okay, maybe they're Midwest drill beats that people in Chicago listen to. Maybe the album is pretty based on Chicago because I don't see no songs here on the West Coast that anybody's going to play. Ain't nobody playing no J. Cole all my life riding around here in the hood in Seaside. Ain't nobody about to play none of them sad songs he came out with. Pele Coat, that song's sad. Like every song he made so far, every, almost every song I listen to sound like, you know, dude, dude needs some help. He needs some physical help. He ain't dealing with the deaths that well. You know, he's trying to bring positivity. Maybe maybe, maybe he's begging and pleading for, you know, forgiveness from NBA young boy or something because he feel like, you know, once they let him off house, the rest is over. It's easy to talk smack to a person that can't get off house arrest. Let's see how things go when NBA young boy gets off house arrest. And let's see how things, let's see how the subliminals go and the the talking back and forth and oh I'm a real rider from Chicago but then you in fashion shoots like we don't know what bro is when we try to rock with you on some real life solitude gangster stuff you turn around and you come out with this emotional album you turn around you're in fashion shows you turn around you're in love cooking cooking shows with India and stuff like cuz how can we take you serious? How can a nigga take you serious when you talk about beef and all this stuff? This is all over the place. This is the life of a Libra. All over the place. The smartest people in the world yet make the dumbest decisions ever all throughout life.